What is cracking, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of one of my favorite series here on the channel called Does This Cause Acne? In the previous episode, you guys left comments and questions, and that's where I pulled these questions in this video. So without further ado, let's hop into it with the first question. Oh, of course, if it's not obvious enough, leave your questions for the next episode in the comments below. Oh, and also I just started an acne discord, a team acne discord, so we can all chat, we can ask questions to each other, we can talk about our skincare, our favorite things, tips, everything. So join that, I'll put the link in the description below. Yeah, join it, it's gonna be freaking awesome. Okay, the first question here, and I think this one is long overdue, it is a really good question, and this is, does fruits, cause acne? Do eating fruits cause acne? And the answer is no, with an asterisk, because there are certain ways that you can ingest fruit that does cause acne. Now, first off, of course, I'm sure you know this since you're a little baby kid. Everybody has always said, eat your fruits and your veggies. And the reason why, of course, is because there are vitamins and minerals, polyphenols, phytonutrients in fruits and vegetables that are helpful for your immune function and your body. That's all kind of boring, right? But does it cause acne? And why would it cause acne? Well, the idea for a lot of people is that we, you know, a lot of people know that having a lot of sugar in your diet causes acne and that's usually referring to like candy and sodas and things like that but if you look at a fruit you know nutritional facts it'll say it has sugar in it so a lot of people think hey fruits have sugar don't they cause acne and it totally makes sense to think that way but it's actually not true the sugar that's coming from fruits is actually called fructose it's a different type of sugar than the sugar that you would find in a candy for example which is usually sucrose or table sugars sucrose right and they affect your blood sugar levels differently and that's the reason that those you know sugary foods can cause you acne is because when your blood sugar spikes rapidly you have all these responses in your body and what ultimately happens is because you have an insulin spike, it causes you to produce more oil out of your sebaceous glands and that causes you to break out. Fruit sugars affect you differently because they don't raise your blood sugar levels rapidly. If you guys watch the channel for a long time, you know I love this one website called Healthline. They basically answer any question, but they actually cover it by citing studies and then a doctor will review the article to make sure that it's accurate. And this is what Healthline said about sugar from fruits and acne. Consuming a diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids, probiotics, green tea, fruits and vegetables may be protective against the development of acne, vitamins A, D, and E as well as zinc may also help prevent acne. In the article, it also says, paleolithic style diets, which are rich in lean meats, fruits, vegetables, and nuts, and low in grains, dairy, and legumes, they have been associated with lower blood sugar and insulin levels. So fruits, because of the way that they're digested, actually don't digest fast enough to raise your blood sugar in you, so they can actually help regulate your blood sugar levels, and so they don't cause that spike that causes acne. Now, earlier when I said, you know, there's a little asterisk, the thing I do want to mention is that if you are drinking fruit juice, right, if you're getting orange juice, from the store or pineapple juice or whatever that refines the fruit sugar it makes it a lot different than just eating the actual fruit and that actually does have a high glycemic index rating which basically means that it does raise your blood sugar so if you're eating whole fruits you don't really have anything to worry about other than possibly actually having food allergies which are different for every single person okay so a little bit of a mouthful but let's move on to question number two and this one is is pretty simple but do cold showers cause acne? And I don't know if you guys have heard about cold showers. It's it's kind of a trend in, in YouTube and TikTok where basically by taking cold showers, people will claim that you can improve your acne, you can shrink your pores, you can raise your testosterone levels, all sorts of, you can improve your, your immune function, all sorts of things, right? Do cold showers cause acne? That's kind of a new spin on it. And I would say definitely unequivocally no. Yeah, one of the one of the reasons that people do cold showers is that, you know, people will cycle hot and cold showers. Sometimes people will just do completely cold showers. And the idea is that it can help your blood circulate, which it's just good for everything. Good circulation is good for everything. But there's no reason specifically that cold water would draw more, you know, oil to the surface of the skin or cause more acne. If anything, I would say it's probably and, you know, just assuming, I would say it's probably a slight bit better for your acne because hot water will actually strip the natural oils off your face, especially if you like really steamy hot showers, which low key, I absolutely love them. 
And if you take really long hot showers, it will strip that oil off your face even more. And then what happens when you strip oil off your face with anything, your face will then overproduce oil because it basically says, hey, the skin is really, really dry. We need to replenish this. And then that overproduction of oil, if you're prone to you know, clogged pores and you're, you're prone to acne, that can cause acne. So I would say, if anything, it's actually probably better than really hot showers. All right, now let's move on to question number three. Now this one comes from Mariana and she says, does yeast or more specifically brewer's yeast cause acne? In her country, she says, a lot of vegetarians will eat this powder with their meals because it has a lot of B vitamins. This is a good question because you know, a lot of us have heard about fungal yeast infections. We've heard about yeast being just bad in general if you eat it because, you know, it's active, it's live, and you don't want to eat live yeast because that can cause all sorts of problems in your gut and infections, right? Now, the yeast that she's talking about is inactive yeast. So, Brewer's yeast is used to brew beer, and when it's used to brew beer, it's active. But when it's used as a dietary supplement, when it's used as a food, they heat that active yeast until it kills the yeast off, and therefore the yeast is able to be eaten because it's no longer active. This is similar to another type of yeast called nutritional yeast. This is something that a lot of vegetarians and vegans will eat because it is high in B vitamins. It's also high in protein, a couple other vitamins and minerals, and a lot of people just like the flavor of it. But both of these yeasts are inactive yeasts, and therefore you don't have to worry about the same things that you worry about with an active yeast, like something that you would use when you're making dough, for example. If you were to ingest live active yeast, it would definitely cause some really bad troubles in your stomach and especially in your intestines because it would basically ferment inside of your body and it would cause a lot of bloating. But also we know that when you inflame your gut, you can definitely see an increase in your acne. So it's a good question and it's and it makes sense that you would be nervous about it. But with inactive yeasts, you don't have to worry about it causing you acne. All right, now this next question is, does pre-workout cause acne? And this is, I think this is a really good one. I have a lot of people who are into fitness who follow the channel. They ask a lot of questions, like for example, about protein and you know, all those questions are definitely things that I've thought about before and therefore I've researched really hard. If you are looking for uh, the answer about whether protein powders cause acne or not, I've answered that in a previous Does This Cause Acne episode. So check out the Does This Cause Acne playlist, which is updated every time there's a new episode. But what about pre-workout? I would say that yes, pre-workout can cause acne, but I wouldn't say that Yes, every pre-workout is definitely going to cause acne. Now, when you think about a pre-workout, every single one is different, but generally they consist of some sort of stimulant, which is usually caffeine or dicaffeine, sometimes synephrine. Uh, there's a couple other ones that, that are you know stimulants that go in there. Then there's usually some sort of amino acids, maybe branching amino acids, or some amino acids that are used for the pump to get you pumped and to get blood moving around your body. So things like arginine or citrulline malate, and then finally, because, you know, we're all children, <laughs> we like our, our stuff that we ingest to look cool and to taste yummy and stuff. So a lot of pre-workouts will have artificial coloring so that they aren't just white powders. They're, you know, bright pink if they're like cotton candy flavored or something like that. And then they'll have artificial sweeteners because a lot of those ingredients are pretty bitter. And by putting some sort of artificial sweetener in there, it's going to make it a lot more palatable to drink. Now, those last two ingredients are the ones that make me pretty concerned about whether it would cause acne or not. Artificial sweeteners and artificial colors, in my personal experience, have caused me acne. Now, the science behind it would be that artificial sweeteners and artificial colors do uh, irritate your gut. And for some people, they're more sensitive to having their gut lining irritated and other people have maybe more of like an iron stomach as someone might put it. But when you have your gut inflamed, it definitely causes an increase in acne. Sometimes if you're constantly, you know, battering your, your gut with things that, that bother it, like a lot, you can cause something called leaky gut syndrome. And this is something that I personally went through quite a few years ago because I was ingesting an insane amount of, you know, protein supplements, pre-workouts, all sorts of dairy. I was having a gallon of milk a day. I was also having a box of Splenda every single week. That's 128 servings of artificial sweeteners. And what happens with leaky gut syndrome is that your gut basically has the ability to have tiny little holes where 
the bacteria in your gut can permeate out and into your bloodstream and then that is basically toxicity bloodstream and that can cause inflammation all over your body but if you're prone to having acne inflammation in the skin which then leads to having new breakouts so i would say with pre-workout it's not like you just definitely have to not take it but it's something that i would take notice of maybe stop for a week or two and don't change anything else in your life or your diet and see if your acne improves and if it does then hey maybe it really is the pre-workout and then when you put the pre-workout back in Notice if your acne gets worse. And if it does, then hey, maybe it's that pre-workout. Maybe you should move to a more natural brand or maybe just stop taking pre-workout and maybe just either go without a pre-workout or just have maybe like coffee or something before your workouts. All right, now the final question for this video is, do cashews cause acne? And this one is really interesting as well because a lot of people really enjoy nuts and they also enjoy their nut butters. I personally really, really, really like cashews. A lot of times I'll make, you know, sauces and stuff out of cashews because they're very creamy. But do cashews cause acne? And I would say, no, they don't. But there are a few cases where they possibly could. Now, the first one with pretty much any food that you're gonna ask about, there's always the possibility of food allergies. So if you are allergic to a certain type of nut, which we know a lot of people do have nut allergies, then it can cause acne. And it, when you hear nut allergy, a lot of people think, oh, you know, some people have such severe allergies that they need an EpiPen. If they have a nut, then they'll have to go to the hospital, all that kind of stuff. But you can have you know, very mild allergic reactions to all sorts of food. And a lot of times people won't even know this and they'll continue ingesting that over and over and over. Again, like I told you earlier in this video, I have a, a, an allergy or a, allergic reaction to dairy. And so maybe I would have gotten away with having a small amount of it, but I was having a gallon. And once I took it out, then I realized that even a small amount was causing me acne. So I just took it out entirely. If you have an allergic reaction to nuts, you may not feel terrible, may not cause you to be bloated, it may not cause you to swell up or have to, you know, vomit or anything like that, but it could be causing some inflammation in your gut. It could be causing some acne to you. The other reason that cashews could possibly cause acne is we know that from a lot of different scientific studies that high fat intake in your diet increases something in your body called mTORC and mTORC triggers your sebaceous glands to produce more oil. So if you were somebody who is just eating like an insane amount of nuts, if you're having like a jar of peanut butter or cashew butter every single day that definitely could be a cause of your acne but we all need to have fats proteins and carbs in our diet and nuts and seeds are definitely one of the healthiest ways to get fats in your diet they produce a good amount of mega threes they have a lot of vitamins and minerals in there and i would say that having a healthy amount a normal serving size of cashews or any nut is really going to be good for your health overall and going to provide some good fats that you do need all right so there you have it you beautiful people five really awesome really good questions from the previous episode again leave your your future questions for the next episode in the comments below. As always, definitely check out my favorite skincare brand. It's called Banish. They're really, really great for acne scarring and redness and dark spots, but literally just for overall healthy skin as well. You can kind of learn more about each product and the reason that I use them. If you go to my website, www.teamacne.com, it breaks down every product and why I use it. I'll put the link to that in the description below this video. All right, don't forget to check out the Discord in the link below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It helps get out to way more people. Subscribe so you get the future episodes that come out. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you actually see them. And remember, you are not alone. You are beautiful. And you are part of Team Acne. I'll see you skin bosses in the very next video.